What's going on guys? For all the viewers that have been watching me for a while now, you'll know that I did a giveaway just a couple weeks ago. Well, the winner of that giveaway was Flash Sky, and he made a response video. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go check out that video. But for Flash Sky, I just want to say thank you for making the video, and I'm really glad you liked your item. For today's video, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to make something that was short and sweet, maybe uh, answer a few real easy questions. So in this video, I'm going to have three different sections. So for the first section, I'm just going to be recreating a real easy lighting design called Galaxy. There were actually two viewers that requested this design recently. After that, I'm going to be answering a question from a viewer, Slothy. He said, is it possible to make a reactive but also cycle through the colors, but only on the one key you're pressing? It may not make sense to you, but I have a clear vision in my head would appreciate. So I think I know what you're talking about and I'm going to try and address your question in section number two of this video. And the third section of this video is going to be another viewer request. Zoom said, would you please do this? I want so much. And then he linked a video to this profile where it's basically a static rainbow effect and you have a black line that kind of scans across along with a white reactive. In the description below, I'm going to have a link for the Galaxy design. I'm going to have a link where I have the keyboard fully set up to do a rainbow reactive, and I'm going to have a link in the description for the static rainbow effect. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, and we're gonna get right into the video. All right, guys, so the first one with the uh, Galaxy design is actually very, very simple. So I'm just going to select all of my keys here. Make sure you have a wave effect layer here. Just click this five tone, and we're going to delete the left one and delete the right one. So now with this first node, we're going to make this dark blue. Middle node, pink. Right node is going to be the light blue. We angle our wave up at about this angle. Mine's at 305, maybe a little bit less, 292, and we're going to split. And we're going to bring our speed down to about 8. All that's left to do is add the reactive that's on. It looks like there's just a white reactive, so just add the reactive, select all of your lighting, and you're going to click on your color drop down, and you're going to choose white, so hex code 6Fs. And this is all there is to this lighting design. Now I'm going to answer Slothy's question. I think what you're trying to get out is it's not actually a reactive. What you want to do is you want to add a wave layer. And you're just going to select a key. And if you want this to work for your entire keyboard, you're going to have to do a wave for each key. You're going to select the key and you're going to make your wave pattern so you want all the colors to cycle through. And what you're going to do is you're on your start, you're going to click on selected keys and it's going to end after one time. On this first escape key, if you click on the color gradient for this first node, you can see that I have FF0000. And when you go to the next key, on this first node, I have FF0001. That's all you have to change to get the keys out of sync from one another. So what I did is for this key, I have the value set to here. And for this key, I have the value set here. You can see I took this last value all the way up to nine through all these keys. And then when I hit this key, I turned the value here to one and then I went up to nine again on the end. So I have zero and then one up through nine, and then I have one up through nine on these keys. So each key is going to be technically a different key, but as you can see from looking at the color gradient up at the right, all the keys are going to appear the same. And you're gonna do this for every key on your keyboard. If you don't do this on your keyboard, this is what's gonna happen. So if I take this and I copy that 
and I paste it to these. So let's say I have this same color code in each one of these. Now if I were to press one of these keys, all of them would go off. You see how all of those keys go off? But since I change these colors here, all these individual keys up here, you can press them and they'll go off one at a time. Okay, for this third design, the static rainbow effect, what we're gonna do is we are going to just make sure we have a static layer chosen. And we're just going to color the keys to match the design. Now we're just gonna add a wave effect and we're gonna select our entire keyboard. So what I did with this wave is I made a three-tone wave and I made the two on the sides invisible and I just tightened them up as tight as you can possibly get it, just like this. Just snugged them all together. Middle one's black, so zero, one, zero, 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 and then the right two nodes are invisible. I have my angle set at 116 degrees and the speed's at 15. And I also have my width at 400%. Next, what you wanna do is add a new ripple layer. And with our ripple, we're gonna just select all of our keys, select all of our keys, and we're gonna choose a single tone ripple effect. And we're going to make this white. We're gonna change our speed all the way up to 50 and make our width percentage 100% and hit save. So now you can see when you press the keys, you get something similar to that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you guys get notified as soon as I upload new keyboard lighting videos. Be sure to check me out on Instagram and Twitter as I'm always uploading teasers to upcoming videos. And you can also check me out on my Twitch channel. I stream almost every Saturday. So make sure you go and follow me on there. Come in and say hi. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.